Hey there, Jay. It's your old pal, Jay. It's your welcome to Fame and Money number 56. Guys, we had a lot of packages today. I was immediately drawn to this giant dick. I'll go open this thing right up. I don't even care. But guys, if you saw the video last night, um, my dad found out that my mom was staying at Aunt Melissa's. And, of course, as we all knew it was going to fucking happen, shit hit the fan. Merry Christmas, Jesse. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Enjoy this giant dick from Charles, Babin, or Babin. Another Santa dick. Sweet! Spirit of the season. Get the keeps on giving. Oh! Oh, corn's right there. Oh! Mmm! <laughs> Guys, we got a lot of packages here. But yeah, anyway, um... That's why we're in the room right now. Just that shit that went down. I don't know what this entails. Uh, I'm gonna talk to my mom hopefully later tonight. Uh, personally, I haven't talked to my dad. And hopefully it stays that way. I don't know. Uh, just hopefully, you know, in the next couple weeks, I can find a place and get the fuck out of here. Anyway, alright. Continue. Big box is our heaviest box for this one. So this dear Jesse, I'm a fairly new viewer, but I've seen quite a few videos. My name is Henry, I'm 12 years old from Iowa. I love The Walking Dead. Who's your favorite character? Rick Grimes, of course. I'm sorry about your parents, the same thing happened with my neighbors. I was best friends with them. We would play sports almost every day, but after a while they started to talk shit about me. I overreacted with rude texts and middle fingers. I finally started to forget about them. I think you should at least try to do the same and stay calm and let them do what they need to do. I really like the Nerf War video, so I custom painted this semi-automatic gun with the rigid logo. It's orange, too. I also included some cornflakes for a man named Corn. Consider following me, your biggest juggie, Henry. Henry, I appreciate the message, man. Wow, we got some ammo. You never have too much. It says, keep it rigid. And an eagle uh, actually snatching up my dad's hat off of him. That's actually pretty funny. Corn, here you go, man. It's uh, oh, Kellogg's nice. cornflakes, full box. Thanks, man. Yep, enjoy that for breakfast someday. And let's see what we got here. Wow, lots of clips. I'm glad you liked the Nerf War video. Me and Juliet saw we had some guns laying around. We were like, this could be a silly idea. I think what really made it was the music. Wow, that's an epic clip. Holy my shit. Check out the gun. It smells like it was freshly painted, too. It's very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Very nice, man. That's cool. And here's the big part. Nice. Love the color scheme, man. Looks good. Holy shit. And the last piece. There it is. Dude, sick. It's got the rigid gaming R on that shit. Wow. Thank you very much, Henry. Keep it rigid. I wasn't expecting this. I, I thought it was just going to be a loose poster, but it's actually an Amazon gift wrap package here. And here's the gift note. It reads, Hey Jesse, I'm tired of watching your dad take his shit out on you, your mom, and Uncle Larry. This is why I'm sending you all this protection. Use this well and be sure to follow me at Bradley Stein for more protection. Keep it rigid, Bradley. Bradley, I'm not sure what this is, but uh, thank you for thinking of me. Huh. It's an official Red Rider. I forget how much he says it. What is this? It's like a freaking machete. What the? Oh my god, it is! Holy shit! What the F? Holy fuck! It's even got a uh, clip. Jesus, Corn, silence your cell phone, you ignorant fuck. Oh my god. Don't fuck with me, Corn. I will fucking stab you right now. Holy shit, dude. F touch the end of that. Uh, That's legit. Know. You can send this through Amazon gift wrap? Ha! Holy fuck! Damn, dude. Uh, Bradley, thank you very much for this. I'm gonna put this uh, little clip back on here, because I don't trust myself with this device. Um, damn, dude. I don't think it'll ever have to come to this, but this is sick as hell. Thanks, man. Keep it rigid. Another Amazon gift wrap. Guys, I thought Christmas was over. See, I don't need presents under the tree or anything from my fucking dad. I got you guys. And I feel like it's always been that way. Hey, Jesse, I realized that I've gotten something for everyone featured in your videos except Juliet. Thought she might like these. Keep it rigid. Bradley. Bradley, dude. You're going all out, man. 
I, I read on the the gift receipt that it was a martial arts like sports katana. Like, damn, dude. Oh shit! I hope I'm not breaking this. I should be seeing Juliet in a couple days. We're gonna be spending New Year's together. She was supposed to come here, but I might end up going there. I I, I don't know. We'll see what, what's gonna happen. Aw. It's a bunch of guitar picks. Thanks, man. Very awesome. Keep it rigid. So thoughtful. Another Amazon gift wrap. Guys, I really do love this shit. I, does it cost extra to do gift wrap? I don't know, personally. Oh, it's Bradley again. Hey, Jesse, I got this for Aunt Melissa. Please film her reaction when she receives it. Which, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna open it myself. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I'll still give it to her. Yeah, I'll still... Oh! Oh! oh. This is a life-saving approach to alcoholism. Who and why it strikes and how to treat the disease. It's called Under the Influence. Wow. This is good. I, I don't know if now's the best timing to give it to her, but uh, I'll hold on to this. If I can remember, next time I, uh, I'm over there, I'll, I'll give her this. This actually could save her life. So thanks, man. Bradley, keep it rigid. Uh, I don't know about this one, Juggies. This looks like a similar material as our pillow pet friend. Look at it. It's a T.Y. Beanie Baby, and it appears to be the same material as the Pillow Pet. It's from a distribution center. There is no real return address, and it does look like it has been manipulated. It looks as if maybe it has had some itching powder put onto it. I will not be using this. There is no message received, so this is staying in the box and going in the dumpster. You see this, corn? This is going in the dumpster. This is a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. I'm packing this up. Guys, don't send me this shit. I'll fucking kill you. I will fucking kill you and I'm not even kidding. Do not test me. I'll come to your house and cut off your fucking head with this katana. Keep it rigid. Amazon gift wrap! There's a message. It is Bradley. Bradley, you're really outdoing yourself, man. You are really feeling the spirit. Jesse, please give this to your dad as a Christmas gift to him on behalf of all your subscribers. I saw this at Barnes Noble and immediately thought of him. Keep it rigid from Bradley. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's, yep. Just just like uh, the guide to alcoholism, here is Rage. A step-by-step -step guide to overcoming explosive anger. I actually might give this a look myself. Cause... Wow. There we go. Are you unable to quit thinking about past insults or injuries? That's just one question that could induce. Do you hate people for what they have done to you? Do you feel outraged about what people try to get away with? Do you have difficulty forgiving people? Do people tell you it's time to move on a quick dying on the past? Do you believe that any particular person is to blame for your unhappiness? Do you believe that any particular person is to blame for your unhappiness? <laughs> I definitely don't need to read this. No, I don't think that way, fucking dad. Uh, but uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking put this uh, next to his, his bedside table and then see what he thinks. Yeah, right. I don't know if I can even get away with giving him this. Because then it'll become this, just right here, towards Jesse. Bradley, thank you, man. You're so thoughtful with all these gifts. Got it for all, everyone. Keep it rigid. What is this? Somebody sent me drugs? Is this drugs? Druggies? This is a uh, some male performance enhancement osteosterone. Um, I guess that's just the brand name of it, yeah. What, this is a testosterone supplement? Hey, if it makes my dick bigger and me taller, let's do it. Hi, Jesse, I sent you this for Aunt Melissa. Oh, oh awkward. I figured she'd benefit from this, because she's like a dyke. Give this to her for a Christmas present from me. Your number one juggie, James. Aunt Melissa, I think, has enough testosterone, but, um, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put this with the alcoholism guide. Alcoholism and testosterone. She's gonna really appreciate these gifts. These aren't what I would call gag gifts. These are like dead fucking serious. Thanks, man. Keep it rigid. This is from a company called Poop Soap. Uh, <laughs> when I hear that, I think it's a bar of soap that smells or looks like shit. Question is, does it actually clean your body or does it leave it? Oh, oh, God. Oh, it smells like shit. Merry Christmas, Jesse, from Nathan. This gift is for you to have fun with, prank people of your choice, and even to see your reaction on YouTube. Enjoy. You're gonna love it. Thanks, I derp. Oh, man. It smells like poop, but at the same time, it also smells like... Oh! Ugh. Ugh. You hold in your hand the world's best gag gift. Truck stop turd poop soap. Who's on your shit list? You've... Oh, okay. We're gonna put this in the box. 
We may hold on to this. I, it seems to be an actual like turd, but I, I don't know. Thanks, man. Keep urging. This is just a letter in a box. Dear Jesse Ridgeway, I'm writing this letter to let you know that I sent Mr. Ridgeway a letter to the house. I let him know that Mrs. Ridgeway is over at Melissa's house. I felt that he deserved to know. Due to the fact that I look up to him, I felt that I had to help him. He probably has gotten the letter out of the mailbox yesterday or the day before. I am intentionally making sure that both of these letters are delivered at least a day apart from each other. Mr. Ridgway and I would probably get along real swell. Hopefully one day I'm able to meet him. Do you remember me now? Sincerely, Parker Drake. Holy shit, Corn! did you just hear that? Mm-hmm. You sent a letter to the actual house? Parker Drake, you may just be the reason why my dad had such a strong hunch that my mom was staying there. You realize you just changed everything and you totally just fucked everyone over. I don't know why you respect my dad or look up to him. I'll never understand that because the shit he's pulled up. It's going in the trash. Thank you, Parker Drake. Keep it rigid, man. Mup. Aw, oh, somebody put Mup on the box. <laughs> this appears to be a rogue belly button worm. Unfortunately, I can't trust any fan mail belly button worms just because they could be loaded. See what peep? See, there's always one bad egg in the bunch that fucking has to ruin the rest. What kind of belly button worm? Oh, it's a Steven belly button worm. Looks just like Steven. Ah! Don't touch me, Steven. Says, Dear MJN, sorry this came in late. You've inspired me on making my own YouTube channel. Tell Corn I said hey. He says hey. hey. My channel is The Penguin Masters. I now have 28 subscribers. Sorry your mom and dad got divorced. Hey, they're not actually divorced yet. They, they're currently separated. Hope you like the belly button worm. Name him whatever you want. Sincerely, The Penguin Masters. P.S. Can you read my handwriting? Yes, I can. Uh, thank goodness, or else I wouldn't be able to read this. I really appreciate the belly button worm, man. I don't know, where, where did you find these? Where did you find them? I, I want to know the source of the worms so we can get like a hundred of them. But thanks, man. Keep it rigid. Good old poster tube. Let's see what we got here. Well, it's a shame we already kind of ran out of poster space. I guess there's space behind the TV for a littler one. Whoa. Check it out. Purple Lamborghini. Dang. I'm not a real car guy. Like, I don't even know. Like a Venino, is that like a really cool like Lamborghini like kind of model? But this looks sick. Not gonna lie. Thank you, man. Whoever sent this, it's just from West Virginia. Keep it rigid. All right, Jays, that was it for the packages. Let's do some large envelopes. Immediately, uh, there was just a large envelope with this inside. At first, I was like, oh, fuck, sweet lightsaber. No, I don't think it's it. I, I don't know what this is. This looks like a button at the top, and to be quite honest, I'm afraid to press it. Corn, you want to be the, do the honors? Hopefully it doesn't shock the person who's holding it or some shit. <laughs> it's this way it seems safest. Are we supposed to like pull on something? Like this something supposed to extend? Oh god. I'm supposed to like pull on that while you press that? Oh Jesus. I don't know what this does. I don't, I don't know. Alright, well Corn's gonna play with that while uh... Well, I move on. Uh, we have a picture here. Uh, looks like his name's Clint Taylor. It says, hey Jesse, my name's Clint Taylor. Yeah, and I'm a huge fan of you. I watch your videos all the time and really enjoy them. I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel and do my own comedy reality show next month. I'm from El Dorado, Arkansas. Corn's having a good time over there. <laughs> Not sure what that means exactly, but cool. And I'm gonna try to do acting in movies, TVs, commercials, and theater. I've done acting ever since high school, and I want to pursue my career of acting and one day be a YouTube star someday. My channel on YouTube is Clint Taylor, and I hope we can contact each other sometime soon. P.S. Hope you enjoy the headshot and autograph by me. You'll see me in movies someday. I love the attitude, Clint. I wish you the best of luck, man. It's an awesome dream and passion to have. So what did you surmise? What is this, Corn? I have no idea. No fucking idea? I can off the bottle and pull out the bar. Huh. Alright. Maybe it has to do with the martial arts training. It's some kind of... Strange. I don't know. Interesting. The world may never know. Joey's, that's probably going to be the top thing I'm looking for in the comments. If you know what the fuck this thing is, like, here, let me give you a good look at it. You know, it, I, I don't know. If you know what this is in the comments, do some Googling for me, let me know, and I'll respond back to you and be like, dude, you're awesome. 
And wait, what? That's what I have? <laughs> this looks like a little book, uh, a little Super Mario book, so I can write down any notes or almost like treat it like a diary, like this shit happened to me today. Um, and we got some letters. This is all one person uh, looks like. The drawing of the Tasmanian Devil. Nice. I'm glad people still know who that is. You know, uh, Looney Tunes I don't think are just uh, uh, popular at all anymore. I think they're still shown on Cartoon Network, but... Dear Jesse, me and my sister love to watch your videos. We are big fans. I'm 12 and my sister's 14. We say your necklaces and I hope you're, you wear them. Also, I sent Mario Kart notepad and some drawings. Hope you like them. Keep it rigid. Jesse. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I didn't see a name on here, but here's a necklace. It's actually a uh, flying eagle. Looks like it's swooping down. Very cool. I actually love to wear that one day, and it's not gold, because, uh, believe it or not, I'm actually allergic to gold. Horn, me, horn, he is always making noise. That sounds like a horn. Very cool. It's almost some, like, Dr. Seuss shit right there. And inside here, I think this sounds like another necklace. And it looks like gold. I can't really touch this too much. But that's a gold necklace. A little bling bling. Dude, super swag if I put that on with the, still rocking the orange black. Mm, cause I, I haven't showered. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Keep it rigid. All right, Jays, it's time for everybody's favorite part, the lightning speed round. I've chosen around 23 letters at random. One of the letters I opened, yes, I'll, I'll let you get your satisfaction here. It was the card that never ends. And basically, I opened the, op as soon as you opened the envelope, it was like, Whoa! Whoa! and it doesn't shut the fuck up until you destroy it. So me and Corin went out, we started beating it with the hammers, we lit it on fire, and then it stopped. And uh, we threw it in the dumpster. But anyway, let's get started, guys. We got a lot of Christmas cards this round, which is awesome. It says, Jesse, wishing you a warm and wonderful holiday season. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Natasha Elizabeth Parker. Keep it rigid. Thank you, Natasha. She's also included a uh, letter that she hand wrote herself. Dear Jesse, my name is Natasha. I have seen your videos ever since the origin of McJuggernauts. I turned 23 two days ago. I love watching you. Wait, did you just say 23 and not 13? Oh my god, it's a girl Jay of my age. If I've had a bad day, I turn to your videos to cheer me up. My parents are divorced and I don't even know my dad. So I know what you're going through. Are you going to have a Jay sweatshirt or any shirts for females? I'm a Jay for life, keep it rigid. Natasha, actually to answer your question, on the Etsy store, we do have uh, female t-shirts and we also have uh, Jay hoodies for sale all the time. Go check it out, it's pretty pretty nifty. Um, I actually love the Jay hoodie. I'm not just saying this, but the material on the inside of it is, is actually really fluffy and warm. Uh, this is the same fucking Christmas card I just opened. Sorry, Natasha. <laughs> keep it rigid. Here we go. It says, rejoice in the holiday spirit and keep it all close through through the year. Keep it rigid and happy holidays from one in two million juggies, Emmanuel. Dear Jesse, it's me, Emmanuel, and I wanted to take the time to write and send you a card for the holidays. You did an amazing job in your channel trailer for the new coming juggies in 2016. Thank you, man. I'm loving the new profile pic you've just recently put for your social media accounts. It will take some time getting used to in the in the profile pic and banner, but it looks amazing regardless. I'm surprised that you don't have an eagle in your new pic, since in the old one you did have the small cow. Um, I thought you would do something similar, like maybe one of the toy eagles and the mini wheelies. Hey, Emmanuel, it's funny you should say that, because uh, I thought I was going to do a similar pose, just with long hair, no glasses, and the eagle on my shoulder, just like how I had the cow. Because it's like, you know, a little animal, and this is what, um, you know, is representative of who we are as, as a community. And uh, I ruled against it. I was like, I just wanted a standard pick of my face, and we have the eagle uh, represent in the banner. But thanks for the letter, man. It looks like we had similar thoughts. I do miss the cow, though. The cow will always be in our hearts. To Jesse, holy shit, this is a large, large uh, letter here. To Jesse, aka McJurnance, my calculations are correct. Uh, my time machine should have transported me about three into the future since I last communicated with you. If you don't know who this is, try to recollect from it. Fan Mail 44. I sent you the Monopoly card with two bucks in it. Um, it's Camilo. I hope you that back to the future. Oh, dude, back to the future reference. I'm all about it. A video has made ponder on the fact that your father is charging you 2000 for rent in the house. I live in an apartment in LA. My parents pay rent for about 800 to to 1000 dollars depending on the tax and shit. Stuff that a 16 year old has has learned about before the real world. I remember you saying, telling me all this, dude, and it's crazy. I have one thing to say about Aunt Melissa. She's a bitch. Sorry if that's too much. Hope your mother's doing well other than being uninfluenced by her. Your new channel banner is so sick. The profile pic can be different, but hey, it's your channel. I know I might sound as a kiss ass. Uh, but I hope I win the giveaway. Ah, uh, dude. Well, I'm sorry you didn't win, uh, but there will be more to come in the future, hopefully. I was, I will always be a juggy. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And I know I will because my sister is returning from her first semester of her third year at NYU. Very cool. I hope this Christmas doesn't bring what it brought last year when you burn a tree. Well, it wasn't, I'd say it wasn't as bad as last year, but it definitely wasn't a good Christmas. Um, but you know what? I was just glad because I could spend it with 
my brother Jeffrey and my dad, and I love them so much. And, oh, and it's a wait, it's the same letter. Interesting. Uh, thanks, Camilo. Keep it rigid, man. Moving on. Wait, I left the envelope in this pile. Silly me. Huh. I'm trying to organize it better, so when we have to do cleanup, it's uh, it's a little easier to manage because it gets to be a lot. We have a nice drawing of me, some gaming consoles, and an eagle. Very nice. Dear Jez, spelled it J-E-Z. I've never been called that one. It's close to Jez. I felt bad that your mom went to Aunt Melissa's. Ever since uh, she moved there, it's been worse. Like all I, all I see is care less about you and always drink with Melissa and got even worse. I bet you were saking when that guy was hugging your mom and I'm sorry. Fuck man, I almost forgot about that shit. My name is Andy from that time you showed that little clip showing your microphone falling. I saw one of my pokey cards. Anyway, you can't change what has happened. What done is done, but everything will become better. That's good advice, man. Thank you for this, dude. Keep it rigid. Never been called Jez. That's a new one, man. Dear Majorians, my name is Connor uh, DiPietro, I think it's pronounced. I have to say you're just amazing. I would love to win the giveaway. Uh, I'm also saying fan mail and fan mail 51. I was one of the one ones that would make you your own roller coaster. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I've been watching you since before Eagles Landing and you're just the best. So far my Christmas season has been magical because my parents brought me to Disney. So to make it the best Christmas ever, I would love to win. I hope you like the Donald Duck. The picture is very special. Ah, very well drawn, man. Seems to me a Disney fan. Thanks, Jesse. You're the best person in my life right now. Keep it rigid. Best juggy ever from Connor. Connor, thanks for that, man. I'm glad you had a good Christmas. Disney's a magical place. Even in the wintertime, even around Christmas, they really make it special even though it's always freaking hot there. But that's a very cool man. Where's the... Okay. There's a picture of an eagle. It says, Hi, Jesse. I'm Dominic. I'm 10 years old. I'm sorry for all the crap your dad and brother do to you. And hopefully they stop this. Tell them to get lost. I like it, man. I've never used that phrase. Maybe it'll work. Here's a picture of me. It says, Jesse Ridgeway. But Ridgeway with an E. It's not spelled with an E. I know. It's one of those mind fucks. I don't know why it's not. It's like, why Why not spell it how it sounds? And there's Juliet Riley. You got that spelled right, though. What the fuck, man? <laughs> That's it, guys. Once again, that's one of those qualifiers. You want me to pick your letter out? Spell my name right. Also, make it a little dolled up. Add some color to it. Hello, Jesse. I'm a new juggery. I've only been watching your channel since your, before your birthday. I think you handle your anger pretty well, considering what you go through. The only time I thought you kind of flipped was when your brother painted your car and you handled the aftermath like an adult. Thank you for that. In comments, people always say your videos are fake, your videos are boring. Uh, I believe that they are real, and I don't want to see another video because it sucks to have your stuff broken. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad you see through the bullshit. I watch every single video, whether it be hashtag triple M, vlogs, or fan mail. Uh, and just side note, never read the comments, dude. And like, they're all the haters. Like, people can comment and they don't even have to be subscribed to the channel. They're all just full of shit and jelly. My goal someday is to reach a silver play button and have it on display as a sign of hard work. I feel bad that you can't hang up yours. I know. I know, you're talking about the gold one. I do have my silver one hung up, but that's just for my gaming channel. Uh, you should have the right to hang it up in your room. I know. This is my first fan mail. I'm glad to have sent to somebody who deserves it. Say hi to Corn, Juliet, your mom, and maybe even Jeffrey for me. I know from previous fan mail, Corn is probably in your room with you. Hey, what's up? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, Orange Creeper. Keep it rigid, man. Thank you for your letter. Corn is in the room with me. He's creeping around. He's trying to keep warm. Hey, Jesse, this is my first fan mail, but I hope to be in a lot more. Anyways, I love your videos, and I think that's great that you and your brother are getting along better. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about your parents' separation. My parents are divorced, so I know what position you're in. Just make sure you keep your mom strong. I also want to know... I've been doing my best for that, man. Um, oh, I mean, not man. Aaron Page, thank you for this letter. I'm going through I'm going through this out here, but I love the videos you do with Juliet. Tell her in corner I said hi. By the way, I love your room. Merry Christmas, Struggies for life. Aaron, thank you very much. Keep it rigid. Uh, you are welcome anytime to be a juggy. We need more uh, female juggies because they are a rare breed and I love them. All right, let's see the next letter. Oh, oh. See, we had to turn the heater off because it's uh, it's a little too loud. So we're we're going through a cold spell here, juggy. So my hands are uh, are struggling to open up letters. Dear Jesse, my name's Avery. It's my first fan mail to you. So I hope you like it. I've watched your show for a while now. My show? It's not a fucking show, dude. It's my fucking life. All I can do is write this. Draw the picture and give you a hug because you need it. Things are going to be better, I promise. Just hang in there because you have juggies to help cheer you up and help you in any way you need. I hope you enjoy your Christmas. I hope you like my drawing from Avery, a true juggie who cares about you. Avery, thank you very much. Keep it rigid, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, this looks like a really colorful drawing. Oh, sweet. Hang in there. Things are going to get better, I promise. Merry Christmas, by the way. Avery, this is actually really good. I didn't know you had it in you, man. Check it out, dude. 
Why am I saying check it out, dude? You've seen it. You fucking drew it. Check it out, everyone. Look at that. And that's that's pretty good. Be rigid, man. Always so envious of those that can draw. How do you do it? I put the pen to paper or the paintbrush, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't come out like what I think it would. Uh, there's a there's a, a miscommunication between my brain and my hand. It just doesn't doesn't work. Jesse, hope you are well and have a good Christmas. I would just like to know you have grown on me a lot this year. I've grown on you. What am I, like a fucking cancerous tumor? I love that you are newish to my YouTube life because I get to watch older videos when I'm bored. Also, fuck the haters. They need lives. I love your vlogs with Juliet. You guys are adorable. The hate on YouTube comments is sickening, isn't it? I am 24 years old and can't even comment positive things without BS being said. Wish they would fuck off. Anyways, you're awesome. Stay amazing. Your friend, Tiffany. Is this Tiffany Goodness by any chance? Um, I mean, how many Tiffany's do we have subscribed to the channel? That's, that's a real question. I think it is Tiffany Goodness. And, oh, it's just a blank piece of paper. Okay. I think it is Tiffany. I think it said it on the envelope when I first opened it. Whoop. Hey, Jesse. Best wishes for New Year. I know things have been crazy in your life. I hope things get better for Christmas and New Year's. I hope you get a house of your own soon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sincerely, Kim. Hey, you, Kim. Keep your origin. Hey, you're Jesse. My name's Nick. I'm from Nebraska. Nick from Nebraska! My dad has done the same. Your dad has. He kicked me out of the house. I'm only 13, so now I live with my mom. I was wondering if I should try and go back or what I should do. My dad and my ugly-ass stepmom called me a guest, quote-unquote. Who the fuck does that to their kids? I watch you every day. Keep up the good work. And check you for life from Nick. Keep it rigid, man. Um... I can't say, I can't say for sure uh, what your situation is like exactly. I know me personally, I never wanted to stand for any bullshit that was going on in my family and I tried to stand up to them, but um, it's also kind of screwed me over sometimes. I guess, I guess I'll give you uh, Jeffrey's advice, which is just to, you know, respect anyone's wishes and just to uh, swallow your pride and uh, roll with the punches and just deal with that shit accordingly. Keep it rigid and this is... Uh, Wow, look at this. Me, what it looks like, corn and big brother. Nice drawing, awesome stuff. It says, hey Jesse, have this drawing I made. Uh, if you post this on Instagram, I'm what meme? I will make even more, I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, my name is Blaze, I'm 11 years old. You're 11? Dude, awesome drawing for age 11. Keep that shit up. You have a future in some kind of graphic design, artistry, some video game shit, I don't know. That's really good, dude. Keep it rigid, man. Keep your letter. I don't know what this went with, but there's a little uh, wooden eagle thing. Very cool. Wait, did this wing come off? I guess it did. But it looks complete without the wing. Curious. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. Trying to fill up time. Trying to go lightning fast. My fingers are too cold. Dear Jesse, hi Jesse. I want to thank you so much for choosing me to win hashtag triple M20 and hashtag triple M23. It's done wonders. It has tripled my sub count and it's made me achieve my goal of 1,000 subs this year. This is Ryan Palace. I can already tell because I was hoping that he got to 1K. You also PM me after the fear power and gave me confidence when I was about to audition for my college. Obviously, from the vids, you could tell I got in. I live in L.A. near Hollywood, so if you're ever in the city again, hit me up. Love to meet you in real life. I met you on Omega once, but my audio was messed up, and we couldn't hear each other. I remember that. Still was an awesome moment. Anyway, Jess, I know it's rough with your parents splitting. My parents are divorced. Hopefully, things work out so everyone's happy. You're one of my favorite YouTubers, and if I find you an inspiration for how fast you've grown. Hopefully, you'll keep going, and you get the diamond play button. Thank you again for the vids. Thank you for helping me out on YouTube, and thank you for giving me support when not many people believed in me. Stay merry... I think that says Mary. And proud <laughs> Ryan Ballas. It is you, man. Ryan, thank you very much for this letter. I'm glad you reached 1K. I'm glad I could help. Because you've helped me, man. More than you know. Keep it rigid, dude. Dear Jesse, I first just want to say it's cool to meet you, and I don't want to make you angry when I say some of this stuff because I'm trying to help. I'm not trying to criticize you or anything. Oh, God. You're probably going to criticize me. I just want to say I've seen what you've been through, and I wish I could fix everything. I agree with you about your mom. If she stays with Aunt Melissa for too long, she may become an alcoholic. Well, luckily, we have this under the influence book, so maybe it'll help her, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, boo, I can honestly say that Aunt Melissa's hate for Uncle Larry is completely irrational. I mean, the guy broke up with her 30 years ago, and she's now married. Why can't she just move on? I... I don't know. Some people just live in the past like that. It's freaking retarded. Also, I agree that your dad has a really bad temper, which makes him do some things. Action got, actions got him into this position, so it's actions that have to get him out, because simply leaving a message isn't going to do justice. I completely agree, Jim. Here's the thing. It's like, that's why I was telling him to do grand gesture, do something nice for her. And he brought the flowers to her, which I thought was really generous, but, I mean, it went from that to that in, like... 20 seconds and he completely flipped the shit like you, you can't just like do one thing and expect things to change you gotta like consistently do those things and then things will change and that's good advice for anything um i somewhat agree with your brother when he said you overreacted to stress like when you lived the christmas tree 
I know, I know, man. Uh, Jim, I do appreciate uh, you trying to help, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to get better, not just for myself, but for you guys as well. Thank you, man. Jim, keep it rated. Hope you had a Merry Christmas, man. MJN, I really like your videos. They make me laugh. How about an autograph? Travis Morgan, um, I don't send autographs. This is my personalized autograph to you. I mean, it's a personalized video message seen by hundreds of thousands. I think it's a lot more special than just my horrible, ugly-ass chicken scratch John Hancock. But if you're really looking for it, your best bet would be to purchase an Eagles Landing shirt. I'm not trying to get you to spend money, but that I do sign every single Eagles Landing shirt. Hey there, Jesse. My name is Kevin and Dave Davion and the God and Kay Smitty. I watch your videos every day. We're Oh, all 8th graders in Jersey. I was happy that my letter was featured in FAMA last week. I was the one that gave you my phone number. Question. The Wi-Fi adapter thing you put in your room and not outside the room, the room out, because Buzz hooked it up with the house's breaker box. We will suck your Mark toes for a PS4. What? <laughs> wow, your fans. Well, thank you all, you guys. Keep it rigid, man. And, uh, oh, I think I understand what you're saying. So it's it's we'd have to put the the Wi-Fi John piece into the breaker box instead of in the room. Is that is that what I'm understanding correctly? I don't know, man. Uh, we kind of gave up on it. Teresa, I hope all is well. Jesse, good luck with Jeffrey, and you need it. You need it with him. Oh, wishing you old-fashioned pleasures, happy memories, and all the joys of the Christmas season. I hope all is well. See you. Keep it rigid. Thank you. Um, who is this from? God damn it! I don't know who this is from, but thank you very much, and keep it rigid. Um, oh, we're getting down. Oh my god, there's literally a pile of glitter on this couch right now. And it's probably all over my asshole. I look like a unicorn that just took a shit. Dear Jesse, I'm a big fan of your videos. My favorite one would probably be me and Melissa. It's just really how, funny how Uncle Larry comes in. We have a party in here, lol. They have such a strange relationship, those two. Well, I was wondering if you could send me an autograph. Same thing I just uh, said about the previous letter. This is my autograph to you, my friend. I really don't have the money at this moment. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas, keep it rigid. Um, from, looks like Brandon. Or Yam Yaman Brandon, is that right? Uh, keep it rigid, man. Thank you very much. And sorry, sorry I don't do autographs, or else I'd have to send out like 50 million, and then I don't have enough time in the day to do anything. To Jesse Ridgeway from William or uh, Derpy Studios, and this is the final letter, Jays. Woo, it's a big one. Hi, my name is William from Derpy Studios. I live in Bronx, New York. I'm 15. Big fan. I've watched your videos since your first one. My favorite videos is 21 Shots. Thank God for that, because I put my fucking life on the line for that video. I'm glad you really enjoyed it. I was crying with laughter when you got really drunk and fell on the table. Yes! You're the reason I even have a YouTube channel. My dad and mom split up, and I was really depressed. But after watching how you've been treated and your mom and dad bringing up, you always make videos for people to smile, and after everything, you've been smiling. And that makes my day. I also think what you do is right for telling your dad the truth, but yet not telling him that your mom lives with your aunt. I also think your brother and Uncle Larry should work together to make videos. That would be really cool. Why can't we all just fucking get along? A shout out would really help me out. Also, one of my teachers asked what I wanted to be when I grow up, and I said, like McJugger Nuggets. Dude, that warms my fucking heart. William, thank you very much, man. Uh, Derpy Studios is a channel if you guys are interested in checking out a cool channel. And he has a few questions. Okay. Why not? How long did it take for you to start getting a lot of subscribers like you have? Uh, I always tell this all the time. Uh, for the first seven years I've done YouTube, I went from zero to 200 subscribers. That's not a lot. It's horrible. 200 subscribers, I was maybe getting 20 video or 20 views per video, and I put out a couple hundred videos. However, in the last two years, I went from that to now 2.4 million. So two years, I got 2 million subs. Anything is possible, Juggies. Halo or Call of Duty? I always go with Halo, but uh, Call of Duty is also good. I only go with Halo because it's got a lot better story, soundtrack, and the like. Um, what made you want to make a YouTube channel? Uh, really just curiosity. I was really young when I first started it, and it was a new thing, and I was like, oh, people can watch my videos? Let's try it out. Also, uh, I put one dollar in this. Uh, well, I don't see it, and don't send me money, man, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, you're going to send me a big Nerf gun, but that didn't work out so well. Please take the dollar. Uh, I don't see it. Um, but thank you very much for this uh, letter, man, and the questions. Keep it rigid. Guys, thank you so much for all the fan mail you sent, except for the asshole that sent me uh, a fucking itching powder, a stuffed animal, and a uh, pile of glitter here. Uh, I'm going to have to clean this up. I don't know. I have to run in and get a vacuum cleaner, maybe Ella will eat the glitter. I don't know, something. Ella is a vacuum cleaner. It's a new brand. All right, Jays, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Turn the links in the description. If you guys want to send me fan mail, go down into the description below. You'll find the address. Make any letter, letters, envelopes, packages out to that. Um, don't send me money, electronics, anything expensive, shit like that. Just heartfelt things and maybe even a katana or two. Like, what? <laughs> All right, Jays, um, I don't know what we're doing later today. Uh, I definitely need to check back up with my mom and Aunt Melissa, make sure everyone's okay, and uh, just try to avoid my dad as much as possible. 
Yeah, uh, that's 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 the current plan. Um, I completely forgot to ship out the consoles today. I will be doing that tomorrow. I promise you. So those are to my three winners. All right, Jays. I love you all to death, and don't forget to keep it rigid.